So the third and final video is going to be us going through the process of importing our file that we just went through and converted, putting it in Tinkercad, and then making the rest of our keychain monogram project. So first, let's log into Tinkercad. And then after we log into Tinkercad, what we want to do is we want to create a brand new file. So once it loads up on the far right here, we're going to click on Create, 3D Design, and wait for this to load up. Now, step number one on the top left, what we need to do is click on the file name and change it to your name dash keychain. That way, when I go and download your file, I know who it belongs to and which project I'm supposed to download. Now, the next thing that we have to do is set up the file settings. So down on the bottom here, we have, want to go to settings. We want to change the width to 100 and change the length to 100. After we do that, we're going to click on the X button right here. And you're going to notice the work plane gets smaller. That's correct. We did everything right. Now what we need to do is go to Import, choose a file. And then up here on the top left, you're going to see a Recent button. Click on that. And you're looking for a file that kind of looks like this right here. And it might say something weird or have like weird letters and numbers. But at the end, it's going to say SVG. So click on that. Open it. Right here's the preview. Don't change any of the settings and click on import. It might take a few seconds for it to import and load, but after a few seconds, you're going to see your design load up just like this. So obviously, this is way too big. It does not fit inside of the blue area, which is the max size we can make our keychain. So what I usually like to do is hold down shift to scale it down to the proper size. And then after I scale it down, I'm going to move it right here. Now, a couple rules here. When you are designing your keychain, you want to make sure that all of the pieces are physically touching. Okay? So right now we have a problem. The T and N in the middle around this like little border, they're not touching. So if I try to print this out, it's going to fall apart in two separate pieces. The T and N will be one piece. The border will be the other. Here's how we fix that issue. You take one of the shapes over here, and as long as it has a flat bottom, you can use it. So we're going to use the shape here, the box. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter by clicking on this button here. Just don't make it under one millimeter in height or thickness. If you do, it's not going to print out nicely. Make it bigger just like this and put it approximately wherever I need it to go. This will be the base. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click on my keychain design over here, the monogram. And I need to raise it up because it's stuck inside. I'm going to click on this little tiny cone, drag it up. And we want it to be raised up past that surface. And then I'm going to place it wherever I want it to go. So I think I want it to go about like maybe right here. Now, after I get it placed in the right spot, I'm going to start resizing a few things, get everything lined up the right way, and start just designing the rest of my keychain around it. You can use 3D shapes. Uh, you can use most of the things that we see over here. Just make sure that the bottom is completely flat. That's one of those rules that we have to follow. Now, after you get everything perfected, which it looks like I'm going to be pretty much done here, I'm almost finished. What you're going to do is we have to make a hole for the metal keyring that I give you. Here's how you make the hole. So we're going to take any shape that you want over here that might work as a hole. In my case, I'm going to keep it traditional and make a hole out of a cylinder, using a cylinder. So grab the cylinder or the shape, drag it, and you have to drop it out here. That's step one. Step two, we need to change it to a hole. Take the sides. Drag it up, and the next thing we want to do is we want to put it where it's supposed to go. And I also suggest trying to make it so it's a little bit smaller so it fits. So I think it's going to be 11 millimeters that way. Let's do 11 millimeters this way. Position it where it's supposed to go. I think I want to put mine up here in the corner. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to select everything by clicking and dragging like this and hitting the group button up here. And if I did it the right way, it should put a hole right here. Now, if you want to bring back all these original colors, you have to click on multicolor, and it shouldn't come back like this. But one thing I do like to mention is don't get too hung up on colors because whenever I get the file, the colors do not come with it. Um, it will always print out in whatever color is in my 3D printer. Now, if you're in class and you're all finished, have me come over and so I can do another teacher check just to make sure that everything looks good. And if I give you the thumbs up and go ahead, 
the very next step is going to be me downloading your file on my end and then putting it in my 3D printer to print.